KPRC 2 News is your vaccine central. Some of the most vulnerable people in our community are receiving the vaccine and more doses are on the way. Channel 2's Michael Lapartis live in Baytown tonight with a closer look at one hospital's efforts to vaccinate those 75 and older. Michael? Chris, we're live outside of Houston Methodist Baytown Hospital, and then they started the process with certain members of the community on Monday administering a vaccine that's in demand. Getting a shot is never fun, but for Judy Wheat... Did not hurt a bit, no. It was, she's an awesome nurse. She did a good job. She's one of dozens who received the COVID-19 vaccine at Houston Methodist Baytown campus. Even at 79 years old, she's tired of staying home during the pandemic. I'm anxious to uh, to get this out of the way, get back to the real world. And for Leonard Boyd, surprisingly, no pain. This was an easy call. I very quickly made the decision that it would be best for me to take the vaccine. Right now, the clinic is for people ages 75 and older. The hospital is sending out invitations to patients who've had contact with one of their physicians or facilities in the last two years. The Baytown CEO is asking everyone else to be patient. We hope to get to uh, our populations that are 65 years and older with uh, uh, certain health conditions uh, very soon. He says future plans call for more of these clinics and even one large central site depending on supply. That comes as the state indicated so-called vaccine hubs are on the way but didn't offer many details. It's really refreshing that people believe in science and people want to be protected against this disease. And at the end of the day, Dr. Sean Tittle says the goal was to roll out as much vaccine as quickly as possible. So once again, this is by invitation for older folks at this time. And those invitations are being sent out through text message. We're told system-wide there have been thousands of appointments scheduled so far. We're live in Baytown tonight. Michael Loparty, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Mike.